Republican gubernatorial candidate Doug Mastriano is loyal to former President Trump, and this evening, Trump's son campaigned for Mastriano in Chambersburg. Brian Munoz was there, and he joins us. Brian. Well, supporters at the Mastriano rally today made one thing clear. They want to return to conservative ways, while Mastriano focused on ways he said he would be better for Pennsylvania. Another pit stop for Doug Mastriano, the Republican hopeful leaning on some conservative star power in Chambersburg today. You can run, Josh, but you can't hide because ain't November we're coming for you and you're going to lose. <laughs> the former president's son, Donald Trump Jr., there to boost Mastriano's campaign, raise some funds and advance the Republican agenda. What's happening right now and what's destroying our country, what's creating inflation, what eliminated energy independence, what made all the prices of the grocery store grow through the roof is Democrat policy. Mastriano made the 2020 lockdowns a big sticking point and vowed to settle the trans student athlete issue once and for all. He even attacked his opponent's record and offered some plans of his own. But on day one, that carbon tax ends. I'm opening up state lands for development. We're rolling back eight years of regulations. We're going to speed up the permitting process here, and we're going to drill and dig like there's no tomorrow. Mastriano and Trump Jr. rallied in front of hundreds of energized and diehard supporters, some who drove as far as West Virginia. It's time for we get a change in our government in Harrisburg. We get a leader and not a follower, a person that doesn't listen to everybody else and has some ideas of his own. Mastriano and his Democratic opponent Josh Shapiro still have no planned debate coming up. In the studio, Brian Munoz, ABC 27 News. New polling tonight for Pennsylvania's top two races. The Trafalgar Group says in the race for governor, Josh Shapiro leads Doug Mastriano by two points. In the race for Senate, John Fetterman leads Mehmet Oz by two points. The Trafalgar Group was the only pollster to correctly predict that Donald Trump would beat Hillary Clinton in Pennsylvania in 2016.